Oh, you gotta be careful. If you drop the queen first, that super miner actually blows her up. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't got healers. Stars. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next OP match today. Navi, aka Queen Walkers, taking on Renegados in the Mave Cup. And let's see who's going to be victorious today in the group stages. We got Kazuma going in with the first attack. A little Queen Charge Lalo action. All right, Queen is in on the bottom side of the base. King and Log Launcher over on the left. Where's that King going to go? He's got the Phoenix to help support. Going in toward the Scattershot Royal Champion with the Diggy, of course, on the left side of the base to support even further. Log Launcher getting through the cannon. Punching open some of these walls for the Barbarian King to have access to the multi. That's looking great. Log Launcher forces the Invis Tower to trigger early. Ooh, this is looking juicy. Can Queen reach the multi? Holy base building error. Jake Carlos, what is this base? What is this base? Kazuma is about to use and abuse these flaws. <clears throat> Family friendly show. Royal Champion makes it all the way to that Inferno Tower by the Town Hall, takes it out, and we are ready to lolo through the Town Hall. Gotta get through it before the Invis recharges. That could be a problem. Does that Invis Tower have enough time to recharge? It's coming up. It's popping up. Uh oh, he freezes it once. The timing might be a little off here for Kazuma. He freezes it again. He's gonna be able to get into the Town Hall. Rage Warden. Yes, just in time. Down goes the Invis Tower. It did not have a chance to go off again. He's got a back end wall breaker. Queen has access to the scatter. Headhunters take out the Archer Queen on the back side of the base. Free spell for the back end scatter. And look how many spells he still has left. This base is absolutely clashed. Absolutely clashed. Kazuma just tearing it apart. He's got two swag rages. And two swag invis. Oh my gosh, brother. He just absolutely deleted that thing. Ripped that base. Santiago is it. With some super bowler smash action. Real ninjas with a tier one sub over on Twitch. Let's go. Thanks for that support, homie. How you doing? How you doing? Let's see what Santiago's got, do got going for us today. Warden walk on the top side of the base. Gonna be able to set a funnel. We got one E Titan to help assist these four super Bowlers. Okay. Down goes the Archer Tower. Nice. <clears throat> Rage the Warden. Some CC troops are coming out, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the Queen. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeti on the left to help funnel. King, Witch, Wizard over at 9 o'clock. E Titan. Loggy Launcher. Super Bowlers. There's two more Ice Golems coming out of that clan castle. Need the healers to switch over to the, the Queen and the Bowlers. There's that one Expo still on the Warden. King goes inside for the Bomb Tower. It's a little awkward, though. Rage Tower going off on defense, and that hits a lot of defenses. All three Inferno Towers, two Expos, the Eagle, two Builder Husks. That is an OP Rage Tower. But we get through it. We pop that Warren ability, pop King ability as he makes his way toward the left side of the base. Invis Tower goes off early thanks to that Loggy Launcher. We're raging through the core of the base. Jump and spell to get all the way to the back end. We already used that ward ability. Which side does the Royal Champion come in from? She's on the left to help support where the King left off. One more freeze for the Town Hall. There's our last rage going into it. Still got one more freeze to flex wherever he needs it. This could be close. He needs the Queen and Bowlers to get through this, this enemy Barbarian King. So the Royal Champion doesn't have to worry about him. Queen, Bowlers, they will get through that King. Queen still has ability. We pop RC ability. Probably earlier than he wanted to. Baby Dragon on the south side can do cleanup. Does he get through it? Uses the last freeze on the Warden Towers. The bowlers are still pushing through. Diggy is stunning. If the healers get on the Royal Champion, he's got a decent shot here. Time? Is it going to be an issue? 43 seconds. Baby Dragon and Wizard working well together on the south side of the base. Royal Champion is going to get way out in front. She'll take out a couple more defenses, but that scatter shot. Once it locks onto her, she should go down. The healers did not go with her. So we're going to rely on the Queen and the Bolas to wrap all the way around the base. And now I'm starting to think time is an issue. Minion for the cannon, but only 25 seconds. We got Queen ability. Power? He's definitely got the power. I don't think he's got the time. Rip Santiago. Queen pops ability, but just not enough time on the clock. 10 seconds. It's going to be really, really high percent. So close. As Queen wraps in. 
Not even any skelly traps over here to stop them. Just the clock. Ripperoni, the 96% advantage Navi after round one of attacks. Gaku is in. The captain for Navi. Let's see if he can get it done. Queen charge Lalo with a Valkyrie. Early battle blimp. It's going to be a Yeti bomb, it looks like. Do we invest a rage? Yes, we do. Can we get the CC pool? He's close to the line, but he's not getting that CC pool. He will pick up the scatter shot. Do you think he expected the CC pool? I think he did, but he doesn't get it. Definitely would have been nice if Queen could fight the CC troops on the outside of the base instead of on the inside when there's a lot of damage hitting her. So that makes a small difference, but Yeti Bomb still sets a nice funnel. Queen gonna walk toward the Eagle Artillery. Okay. Coco Balloon searching for traps. Oh, that Headhunter. Does he get a full pull? Oh, not quite. Goblins, three Headhunters, but it's not the full pull. Does he invest the poison? He doesn't want to. He's gonna go with the Freeze instead. He wants to save the poison for whatever comes out later. Was it worth it? We'll see. And this queen, we use a wall breaker because it looks like she's not gonna go straight in the wall gap. King to walk down towards six o'clock to help funnel. Push queen inside for the eagle artillery. We got two more wall breakers. We're obviously gonna try to get queen to the core. Once she's in the core, she can get that multi and more importantly, she can also reach that monolith and even kill the enemy royal champion if we still have her ability at that point. We funnel for the king to go in to take out the bottom multi. This wall breaker's not helping. Ooh, that might actually send queen the wrong way with all these Teslas here as well. Queen with the rage, with the freeze, will get through the enemy queen. Wall breaker does not give him access to the core. Ooh, look at how that wall breaker broke the wall. He should have dropped it a couple of tiles higher. This is awkward. She won't be able to reach the monolith either. That's a wall breaker mistake from Gaku. If he dropped it a couple tiles to the right, it would have targeted the correct junction. She will get the multi, but she won't be able to get the monolith. Lalo into the town hall. Royal Champion's trying to path to the monolith though. With one good freeze, he might be okay. But there's a lot of base left on the back end and this rage tower is gonna be OP. Tornado trap spinning us around. We have to pop a warden ability because of the Gigabomb. Balloon slowly soaring through and he doesn't have much spell support left. Only one rage and he's using it right away. Do we have headhunters working on the Royal Champion? We don't. None of the balloons path to the scatter. Royal Champion is going down. She's stuck on skelly traps. Enemy Royal Champion killing all of his troops. RC, does she have the diggy? She does not. Healers switch over to her, trying to help her out. She gets through the multi. Headhunter and Warden with the Royal Champion step over. Take out the scatter shot. Does this actually still work? We're distracting the Archer Tower. So the Royal Champion gets the mortar. Royal Champion gets the air defense. Archer Tower still distracted as the RC swoops in. One more shot. No! Wizard, go, go, go. Yes, the minions take out the Archer Tower. No way. He still pulled it through. Gaku, three, two, one, and he gets it. No 99% for him. He gets through it. That's a three star, and Navi are two for two. Renegados are in. Pressure's on. They need a three star, or else they're going to fall way behind. Queen charge hybrid on this one. Looks like a pretty simple plan. Just queen charge the town hall, YOLO hybrid the rest. Let's see if it works out. Queen on the south side of the base. She will step in toward the town hall with that baby dragon pushing her inside. Hog rider, what's that for? Does that get any value whatsoever? That was a 100% swag hog rider. What, what was he thinking with that? I don't know. I don't know. Queen does take the town hall though. She's gonna keep stepping to the right. Can she dodge the Giga Poison? The Tesla being there is actually super nice for the attacker because it pulls Queen a half step down and she stays out of the Giga Poison. So I would argue those Teslas are actually not in a good spot, at least that one or two in particular. So nice for the attacker here, completely dodge the Giga Poison. And if he starts the hybrid early enough, he could force Queen into the monolith and she doesn't have to worry about the Giga Poison slowing her down. Here we go with the hybrid. In my opinion, it was a couple seconds late but he's got the skelly traps to slow the queen down. So she'll go back around. So this is working out. This is working out. We raise the queen aggressively. We want her to get that builder hut and the monolith to cut the funnel for the hybrid. So they push to the right, go take out the defending archer queen. We're gonna freeze up that monolith, keep the queen ability intact, popping the king ability already. We had the siege barracks on the right side of the base to help support. We pop warden ability as we engage the CC troops. We got a poison spell, but we're not using it. 
perhaps trying to save it for legend attacks later. King already went to ability. He's going to die, but the Phoenix will bring him back to life for a few seconds. Heal spell going into that bomb tower. It does a lot of damage. Royal Champion stuck on the Hound. Queen's going to come over and help out. We got one more Rage deciding to use it on the Hog Riders as they encounter the Eagle Artillery that we froze. Tornado Traps spinning our Hogs in circles on the top side of the base, and it's getting real messy in the core now as we're still stuck fighting Lava Pups. Man, where did he use that poison? I have no idea. Royal Champion still has ability. We got an invisibility spell, but there's a lot of base left. There's the RC shield. Do we use the invis for her to get through the expo? It might be worth it. Yes, I think that's the right call as Queen can go around and finish off the rest of the base, but we're running out of time. It's again gonna be another time fail from Renegados. Queen and Warden easily have the power to clean it up but no time no time at all rip renegados they are two for two on the time fails and they are falling behind on stars it's gonna be six to four after the second round of attacks 10 seconds left on the clock here as the queen and warden push through can he get 90 percent? i don't think so maybe 89 if they get this warden tower fast enough yes 89 percent. nice try Bernal is in, let's see, the newest member for Na'Vi. I think he tripled the last time we watched him. Let's see if he can get it done today against this anti three star base with two rage towers. Okay, okay. Queen starting over on the left side of the base. Wall breaker is in. We want Queen to go in toward the expo, toward the scatter shot. Gonna have to rage her up. There we go. She'll get the air defense. She's looking okay for now. Ooh, she's all right. She's all right. A lot of damage, but with that rage spell, she's okay. Just got to hope uh, there's not too many. Tra oh, there's a lot of traps. There's a lot of traps. A couple balloons just to help snipe at least one Tesla, and the queen will be fine for now. Tesla's just stall her up, make her take a few extra seconds to get through all this junk on the left side of the base. We're going to wall break the top side of that multi targeting Inferno Tower compartment, get a partial CC pool. Now this could be tricky. The timing with the CC troops, you just gotta hope healers are not gonna be in range of the multi as she gets stuck on ice golems or a lava hound or something. It's a squishy CC. Oh gosh, she's in trouble, she's okay. Super minions are getting shots off. Oh, the damage! She goes to ability. Rip. At least she didn't die through ability. She'll go back up, take out the multi, but that monolith, brother, one shot, two shot, we rage. I think he still has to use another spell, invis it is. King with warden on ground mode, skeleton spell. Ooh, he's getting dicey. He's trying, oh, is he gonna keep the queen alive with one more freeze? I think he has to use another freeze if he wants to keep her alive. He's being patient. He's gonna need it now. He's gonna need it now. You gotta freeze or she's dead. You gotta freeze or she's dead. You go. <coughs> He didn't freeze, even though he's got two more. Awkward. The warden was used on the top side of the base, but the town hall's on the lower side of the base. He's got the baby Lalo with no warden support. Bernal, big Bernal's in trouble. Come on, brother. You gotta, you gotta represent the mustache community. Bernal, get through it. Yes, town hall secured. Healer swapped over to the king. Road champion already used her ability. She goes down, uh-oh. Yeti's coming out of the log launcher, but it's fizzling out for Bernal. Rip. Not going to work out for him today. Rage Towers? Are they OP? Or was it just a mistake by Bernal? I think he should have kept that queen alive. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is actually going to pick up pretty decent percent. You still got Yetis and Yeti Mites. <clears throat> Dude, if Royal Champion would have just gotten the scatter... He would have had enough power to get through this. Maybe not enough time. Down goes the last Yeti, and it falls short here. Minions pick up the cannon, and it should be a 92. Does he get that expo? No. 92%. Nice try. Esteban is in. Renegados finally got a defense. They got to start three-star if they want any sort of chance. In fact, they probably have to triple out. Because we still got stars and Klaus to attack. Oh, boy. So Renegados definitely need nothing but three stars from here on out. We're going with more Queen Charge Lalo. My favorite attack in the game to watch. 
Early Yeti Bomb with no spells. Gonna take out the Scattershot. Do they take out that Royal Champion? Ooh, almost. Headhunters, brother, your poison's a little bit late. A lot a bit late. Ah, mistake after mistake after mistake. What was he watching? He didn't even use a spell over here. I don't know why he was late with that poison. Rip the Queen ability. That's gonna cost him big time. He dropped the Rage and popped the Queen ability. You usually don't want to do both at the same time. Queen will make her way to the Town Hall. She should be able to one-tap the enemy Royal Champion. We got Phoenix with the King. Not sure where he's gonna send that King yet. Do we have to freeze there? That's awkward, we do. Queen does one tap the Royal Champion, takes out the Expo, and then she's, she'll make her way to the Town Hall. Couple balloons funnel the cannon over here at the 430 side of the base. I think that's gonna set up some King pathing to go take out the other Scattershot and the Archer Queen. We're gonna have to use another spell on this Queen to take out the Town Hall because of that Rage Tower. We're gonna invest a Rage. It's unfortunate, but yeah, I think he had to. I don't think a freeze would have been good enough. King on the south side, here we go. And that queen's gonna get bamboozled, bro. She can reach the single, but unless he invests like the rest of his spell, oh, he is, this is so, oh. <sighs> Sadness. Rip! King popping his ability, going for the scatter shot. There's a lot of traps. He's getting bamboozled. Oh no, needed a Valkyrie. We send the Lalo on the right side of the base. Royal Champion's in on the south side, but the Expo's absolutely hammering away at her. We pop the Warden ability, and he's just hoping for some good percent at this point. There is no way it pushes through. Freeze the enemy, R Archer Queen. Rage going into the core. I don't agree with that Rage. It's only going to get him. That Rage and Freeze is only going to get him like an extra three buildings in the core. If he uses that Rage and Freeze on the outside group over here, he could pick up so much more percent. At some point in the attack, you gotta realize you don't have a chance of tripling and just start going for percent. That Rage Freeze in the core got him like three buildings. If he used it up here, could have gotten the Archer Tower, the Air Defense, he could have picked up like 10 more buildings. Oh well. Is he gonna get the Nat 69? What a homie. Bro, what a gamer. The Nat 69, let's go. The man, the myth, the legend himself, my brother. Klaus Nose is in with a bat spell and two skellies with a healing spell. He's going for some sort of spell soup in the middle. He watched Rakira's and Yo-Yo earlier. They played today and both did some skelly donuts. And now Klaus says, I can do it better. Let's see. Going for the skeleton on the CC. The bat for the multi. Perfect invis placement. And there's like three builder huts repairing that CC, bro. He might be in trouble. Hold on. More, multi mortar gets a shot off as well. Was that his last invis? Was that his? Was that his? Oh no! Rip! I had to jinx him. He's in trouble. At least he took out the multi. Can Klaus Nos recover? This might be the defense Renegados needed to get back into this match. Uh, they're they're way behind. But if they triple their last two attacks and defend stars as well. Yeah. This could get spicy, but let's see, dude. This is Klaus. For all we know, he can, he can still triple this big. King pops his ability. Royal Champion to help out. What in the golem has happened? Whoa. Okay. Wall wrecker boy. As the queen walks left. <clears throat> Royal Champion and King getting absolutely slowed down by that poison spell. Enemy Royal Champion comes over to play ball. We send a headhunter. We freeze. We don't have a poison spell. It's a little awkward. Wall record going all the way for the town hall. Queen has to go to ability. Queen. Woo. Thought she was going to die through ability for a second. That warden tower sometimes gets wonky. King sniping the headhunters. Flame flinger. Oh, I mean, the wall wrecker. They're not going for the right thing. He doesn't have any invis. No invis to redirect them. No. Awkward. We got to Lalo through the town hall now. There's not much base left, but this poison tower recharging is definitely awkward. We, oh gosh. That's an early warden ability. Headhunter for the queen, poison tower goes off. Gigabomb, oh yikes. He popped that warden ability too early. All the balloons go to balloon heaven. Test the farm on the top side of the base. Healing spell for three balloons. As we make our way into the middle, the monolith gonna kill all those balloons. Warden just working on cleanup. He's going for percent. 
Tornado Trap on the top side, spinning his balloons to their death. Nice try to Klaus, but missing that Skelly Donut. He didn't really miss it, he just miscalculated how much healing all those Builder Huts would do. There was like three or four Huts healing that CC in the core. Rip. <clears throat> Minion will pick up one more building on the left, but it's going to be a 78%. Nice try. J. Kylos is in with a little E Titan action. Okay. We got healers on the warden. He's doing his thing over at one o'clock. We got six lightning spells, an earthquake, a jumpy boy for the middle as well. Mortar locked onto the warden. I know the flame flinger's technically not getting hit, but like. To me, it looks like it should, man. I feel like that mortar should should have a wider splash range. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. We zap Quake the middle. What did he get? The monolith? I think so. Monolith, two builder huts, and a spell tower. Whatever spell tower that was. Warden gets the X-Bow. And the funnel should be set. Here we go. Oh, well, that's okay. Flame Flinger gets the last shot on the X-Bow. He's fine. Queen pulls the Warden. Yeti... Witches, Ice Golem, E-Titans, here we go. Everybody gonna make their way inside. At least that's the plan. Now, what is his plan for this multi? Does the queen wrap into the multi? This is gonna be interesting. She does, but she takes all the healers with her. I don't know if I like this plan. We rage her up. She goes for the enemy queen first. There's a Tesla farm. CC troops all going for the queen as well. These E-Titans have no healing support from the healers. We do have a jumping spell. We send a headhunter of the Royal Champion, can pop a Juicy Warden ability before the King dies. I think it's worth it. As the multi is, I mean, the Rage Tower is doing a lot of damage. I think he should have already popped Warden. He's waiting a little too long. Pops it there. Pops King ability as well. Queen takes out the multi. Flame Flinger got the Town Hall. E Titan sniping all the pups. That's Juicy, but nobody going for the core. Except for one little E Titan who has no spell support. That's awkward. Not even the Royal Champion goes for that core, bro. She skipped it too. Minute on the clock. We still got that Eagle up. He decides to freeze it. This E-Titan might have enough HP to take it out. I'm not sure. Queen goes for a wall. Her favorite target, of course. King about to go down. At least he's tanking the last round of Eagle shots. E-Titan got the Eagle. Does she get the multi two? That is a clutch MVP E-Titan if she takes it out. Oh, what HP. Rip. RC goes to ability, Queen goes to ability, Diggy stuns the left multi, Queen struggling to stay alive, but she might as the Yetis come out of the Flame Flinger, they're distracting the last couple of Archer Towers. Royal Champion has HP, we might be looking at a three star for Renegados, finally. Queen takes out the Archer Tower, RC can go back down, she's gonna take out the multi, does he have the time? Yes, I think he does. Wow, barely gets through it. But down goes the base. It's a triple for Renegados. And this match is not over yet. Stars is in with the final attack for Navi. Coming in with some more Lalo. With the early stone slammer. Ooh, and that is risky. Bro, I swear, if I dropped that stone slammer, it would have gone to the Archer Tower. But Stars just built different. Down goes the bomb tower. And I think it's going to be a Sliz, a stone slammer, super whiz opener. Here we go. Invis, Rage. Down goes that Town Hall. Down goes the Expo. Can you get e even extra value on top of that? They are just barely dodging that Giga Poison. Nice. They get one more Builder Hut. Did they get a full CC pool? Is that a Super Miner? Yo, what the cap? Oh, you gotta be careful. If you drop the Queen first, that Super Miner actually blows her up. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't got healers. Stars. Uh, is this a Unicorn get one shot? How did it miss? What? Bro, I swear, the Super Miner was right next to her. Oh, that splash area of effect is so small. I think uh, Santiago's Super Miner got robbed. That should have done a lot of damage to the Queen, honestly. Like a lot, a lot. King on the top side. Queen takes out the enemy Queen, takes out the scatter shot. We got a wall breaker that's gonna give her access to this core multi if she can survive this poison effect. King going all the way back to the outside. Do we use any more spells to help the queen? We just got to pop her ability. She's not going for the multi just yet. Giant, some wizards to help push the king in toward the other multi. He should go take that out. Queen. Oh, the freeze was late. That's a swag freeze. And the queen doesn't get the multi. Stars could be in trouble. 
Well, this is stars, bro. He's about to pull out the best Lalo we've ever seen. Watch. Royal Champion on the right side of the base. Lalo coming in from 430. We got a Poison Tower. We got a Sweeper to worry about. We're going to freeze both of them. Hound moving across. We send some Headhunters. That Hound should pull the Poison Tower to the left. He pops Warden Ability. Poison Tower goes off and doesn't really do much. That's so nice. We haste these balloons. Royal Champion's still alive. She might be able to pass to the court here. Can that poison effect is expire before the balloons get there? Yes. Bro, how does he always manage this? I don't know. It's calculated somehow. Royal Champion, the diggy's gonna stun the monolith. RC still has ability. We haste through the bottom scatter and the base is still deleted. This guy is just insane. I swear. Anybody else doing that Lalo and it probably doesn't work out. That is crazy. One balloon going to the core to get that CC building. The king is still alive. We don't even need the phoenix. Swag the phoenix. 20 seconds left on the clock. It's a triple. And Na'Vi win the match today with 13 stars. Nicely done from them. Renegados are in with their final attack. Here we go. Here we go. More Lalo. Is this one going to be a blizz, Lalo? I have a feeling it is. I can feel it tingling in my toes. He's going with the blizz. There's the blip. Couple rocket balloons early. We're just going for a little short second layer blizz, okay? Some normal wall breakers. Get through the wall. Rage Tower goes off on defense. He'll pick up this first Inferno. He'll pick up the Expo. Does he want the Rage Tower as well? Ooh, they all go south. Not gonna get the Rage Tower. Oh, does he get the Rage Tower? One more invis. He decides to use it late. Half the Super Wizards die and he swags the invis. Got absolutely nothing with that last invis. Rip, the late decision making. Royal Champion with the Phoenix in early. Okay. Okay. Oh, that Headhunter was way too early, brother. Swag Headhunter. We freeze. RC doesn't even care about the enemy RC. She's still going for that Wizard Tower. Oh, this is awkward. Phoenix will bring her back to life. She might still pick up all this value. She's got an extra eight seconds of health. Does she get through the scatter in time before she dies? She wasted so much time on the enemy RC. Nope, she's dead. The Phoenix might finish off the scatter. King's going the wrong way, though. That's a rip. We got Diggy with the King. King's just going to go beat on a wall. Rocket Balloons, Monolith going to absolutely send him six feet under. There's an Invis Tower by the Town Hall, so this could get a little dicey. We use a E-Titan to help support the Queen. Sure. But now this Queen's in big trouble. She's got to fight a Lava Hound while an Expo is locked onto her. Oh, wait a second. Can these Barbarians take out the Expo? While the Queen is working on the Hound? We got the Phoenix in there supporting. Expo stays up. Queen has to go to ability early and this is looking messy for our Mando. He's in big trouble. We're just gonna have to Lalo through the Town Hall. He's getting out gamed right now. There's an Invis Tower too, remember. We Rage, send another Hound. We pop Warden ability, yikers. Yikers. Invis goes off, that's awkward. Lava Hound flying across the map. Can it distract the scatter shot? It gets inside the circle, the scatter, so the scatter switches targets to the balloons, and that's gonna cost us a free spell. He's in big trouble. All the balloons going through that Giga Poison, they are getting roasted and toasted. Haste our way into the scatter, but only one balloon there. The Battle Builder, Wizard Tower, Combo Wombo team up, take out the balloon, and down go his hopes and dreams of a three star today. It's gonna be an 11 star performance for Renegados. The Navi base is just a little too strong. Navi, stay on top. They're gonna take this victory here today in the Mave Cup over Renegados. 15 more seconds in this one. He can pick up like two more buildings, maybe. Nice try. We'll take a look at those stats here in a second. 74% and it's a victory. 13 to 11, 94% to 85.6. GG's.